I scouted ahead. That campsite is crawling with the mercenaries that attacked me. Seems like they're searching or waiting for something. But that got me thinking. Why would those mercenaries be after both me and Rhaenyla? I thought about that on the way over, too. If Rhaenyla could afford to hire mercenaries, she wouldn't be desperate for Deredrian's help like she was in that note we found, right? Something else is going on here. That campsite is the only lead we have on finding Rhaenyla. If we can get there, maybe we can find something to keep us on her trail. I'm not used to looking out for others. Can you handle yourself if we run into trouble? Wait. Those lanterns. This is Rainilla's signal? I think I've seen it before. Look, someone left a trail. Crouch down and you'll see it. If Deredrian came here to help Rhaenyla, it doesn't seem like she did a very good job, and no other sign of Rhaenyla or the one she was traveling with. What are those notes? What did you find out? Right. She threw in with the reformer who told her to prioritize my capture over Rhaenyla's? What? And he's the one who hired me, without knowing it? This is the last time I ever find work through a job broker. No, but we can piece it together. The fence moving specialty items, the two lantern signal, the list of operatives, this person called Dim, who the reformer wants back alive. Rhaenyla isn't traveling alone with some trinket. She's freeing a slave. I don't want to think about that right now. This can't be all there is. There has to be someone who can give us answers. There was another name I saw, Mevi, in Ald Isra, right? That's not far. If we can find her, maybe she could tell us more. I'll meet you there. I just need a minute. <laughs> See that? Two lanterns. That's got to be Mevi. I heard there's a unique connection nearby. How exciting. Must 
sharp as night. By Azura, after all these years, is it really you? I was afraid you'd say something like that. I don't know you, and I've never met Sharp. But the way my Rhaenyla spoke of him, I'd recognize him anywhere. Are you one of her connections? Have you been watching over him all this time? Did he finally remember Rhaenyla? The Reformer uses experimental magic on his slaves. Rhaenyla didn't understand the process, and when she excised it from Sharp to free him, it tore something from him. His memories, she thought. Rhaenyla never forgave herself for what happened. She put herself on assignment. She's freeing another from the Reformer. I haven't heard from her, but that's how these things often go. Forgive me, it's only just occurred to me, but if Sharp has no memories of Rhaenyla, how did you find me? What? Deredrian? No, Rhaenyla needed her help to find the smugglers' tunnels in Gorn. She'd arranged for a boat to take them to safety. If it's just the two of them in those tunnels... I need to get to her. Please, can you help? You two go on ahead. I need to gather Rhaenyla's research, and prepare to travel light for a while. We always knew this day might come. Thankfully, we always tried to remain ready for just such an occasion. Sharp, Rhaenyla would say that you are under no obligation to help, but please... I'm on my way. Where are the smugglers' tunnels you mentioned? I think there's a secret entrance in the southwest tunnels. I'll follow shortly. Please, hurry! Here. As a notary for the Quama Consortium of Necrom, I demand that you explain why production has halted. Are you aware of the irreparable harm this is inflicting on our image? The Consortium will be none too pleased. Apologies, Traveler. I came on a little strong there. I'm an auditor sent to inspect Anchor Eggmine. It's been a few days since their last shipment, and the higher-ups are growing restless. Please, this isn't the first worker's strike I've negotiated. Wait, you don't think something dangerous happened here, do you? Well, I have expense funds for this assignment. Might I hire you as a bodyguard while I perform my audit? I'm required to inform you that as a contractor for the Kwama Consortium, you are held to the highest standards of conduct. But on a personal note, thank you. Now, we'll need to inspect the pens, speak with the Overseer, and take note of the Queen. Did more activity in the mine, but... Oh, by the green! What happened here? Fumessa! Is she... Oh, no. Someone down there! Please! Help us! 
someone's alive? Let's hurry. Now you are a welcome sight. Please tell me the way out of here is clear. We were starting to lose any hope of escape. Show us bones. I ask for aid and they send an auditor. At this rate, there won't be a mine left to audit. I'm Overseer Ulfengar. The egg tenders behind me are Molsa and Barlock. We barely managed to escape the Kwama, let alone those damned cultists. Yes, I sent word days ago asking for more guards. We first saw them sneaking around the mine, but now they've broken in somewhere near the hatchery. They've whipped the Kwama into a frenzy, and I'm worried they're trying to poison the clutch. Wait, who are these people? And what are they doing to this mine? Core has proven most effective. It has made good work. Coming. <laughs> 
without its queen. Perhaps we can still harvest her pheromone gland? It's the only thing that might help us rebuild. Green eye core. Could that be the source of this frenzy? This poor hive. my notes, I think this is... was... Gyne. One of the chief egg hands. That's everything. Let's head outside. The Overseer and the others should have made it out by now. Overseer, I'm glad you all made it out. With your expertise in the Queen's pheromone gland, we should be able to reopen the mine in... Reopen the mine? After the Consortium left us to die? To sovereign God with this mine. You've got the Queen's gland, requeen the mine yourself. We're leaving. Olfengar, please reconsider. Olfengar? Friend, can you please talk to the Overseer? The people of Necrom will starve without this mine. If Sindith had wandered in here alone and gotten herself killed, how long before the Consortium sent another to find us? A day? A week? We're lucky someone of your metal was nearby. You have my thanks, friend. Truly. It failed the moment those Consortium Hawkers chose to ignore my letters. Does Sindiath really think a queen's gland and some elbow grease will be enough to put that place to rights? You saw what those cultists were doing. It's blighted. Finished. So it's my burden, then. Shaw's bones. Those bastards are just greedy enough to risk it, aren't they? With a fresh queen's gland... Ah, no, we'd need an army of egg hands, alchemists, a staffed garrison. The Consortium would never agree to it. 
Yeah. I guess we'll find out. Let me see this gland. And tell Sandeeth we'll stay on if the Consortium provides all the staff and resources I need. The moment they hedge, I'm leaving. And taking Malsa and Barlak with me, Necrom be damned. That sounded like it went well. Please tell me you have some good news. I really need something to soften the blow of this report to my superiors at the Consortium. Oh, trust me, I'll make sure the Consortium does what is right. To send an auditor in place of soldiers? Unbelievable. The safety of the people of Necrom is my highest priority. Take my thanks, and everything that I owe you. Good. You can start by making sure the families of those lost in the mine are properly taken care of. Of course. Honoring those lost is the first step towards making things right. The first of many. Thank the ancestors you stopped. Right. Well, <clears throat> I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I need to collect ingredients for a medicinal tincture. And I simply don't have time. I need someone to help. Ah, yes. I am Balva Bemis, retainer to Oathman Lero Rawless of House Telvani. Lero suffers from beastly headaches, and I'm making a tincture to address his malady. I need some hard-to-attain ingredients. If you aid me, I'll pay you well. I need the musk gland of a bullnetch, I spotted some netch remains around Kemel Z. Also a plant called the Volcanic Stinkhorn from near Salen Mora. And lastly, fungal blooms from a dead shroom beetle. The best ones skitter around Tel Drelov. Once you collect the ingredients, I'll make the necessary preparations at my workstation in Ald Isra. You know, getting the viscosity right and all that. Leave, she just threw me out. What am I going to do? Please, I have no one else I can turn to. I need help. I worked as a servant in the towers of Teldrelov. Nathan, the son of Mistress Drelov, is being kept prisoner there. At least, I think he must be. Nathan and I had plans to leave Teldrelov together. Someone must have found out because the day we planned to leave, I was dismissed from my position. Mistress Drelov, or Suthiel, I suppose, pushed me out without a chance to see Nathan. If she's holding him against his will, he'll be in the isolation tower. The only access is through the lab in the caverns that run underneath. There's a key in the top floor of the main tower. Please, can you help me? I'll pay for your assistance. Thank the eight you came along. I had no idea how I would do this on my own. I know Sathiel would just throw me out again, but Nathan is my whole world. I can't possibly leave Teldreloth without him. The first step is finding that key.
Well, that was a waste of time. No one goes to Sail and Mora anymore, and now I can see why. Getting badgered by priests and buoyant armagers isn't worth seeing the one impressive relic they keep at the shrine. Is that where you're headed? <laughs> the shrine of Saint Voris? Patron saint of House Telvani? It's the only reason why anyone would go to Sail and Mora. I stopped by to see the relic of Saint Voris, but the high priest wouldn't even let me get close enough to get a good look. I didn't stay long enough to find out. Apparently, it's an honor just to be in its mere presence. Didn't feel like anything special to me. If you're headed that way, maybe you can see what all the fuss is about. Good luck, outsider. You're going to need it. This is your last heist, Lark of Rosgard! Mark my words! The talisman of St. Voris will be mine! And I'm all yours, Relasi, if you can catch me. The Lark of Rosgard is so smug when he's got the high ground. He won't be so smug when he's level with my boot. And his little disappearing act. Let me get my hands on him and I'll make him disappear. That fetching thief has been a thorn in my side for far too long. He's planning to rob the shrine at Salen Mora of the sacred relic of St. Voris. I need extra hands if I'm to stop him. Yours could do. Are you looking for work? Stand in for me at the shrine and the Khajiit caravan nearby. Ask questions. Search for any clues or suspicious activity and assure the high priest that I have everything under control. Help me, and I'll make sure you're compensated for your time. High Priest Trelam will be your point of contact at the shrine. He seems insistent the Khajiit are involved in the heist somehow. I have a feeling they're only guilty of poor timing. Meet me back here when you're done. Meet me here when you're done. All may bask in the talisman's divine glory. From a respectful distance, please. <laughs> Excuse me, please step back from the relic. If you're here to bask in the presence of the talisman of St. Voris, I humbly ask that you do so out of arm's reach. If you have any questions about the relic's history, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Shh, not so loud. This is a very delicate situation. We need to ensure that what few pilgrims we have aren't scared off by any of this. Relasi hasn't exactly kept a surprise of her plans. What did she send you to do? Of course she did. That's it. I'm sending a priest to shadow her. After Relasi came through to examine the talisman, I've had to stand watch. I've made sure not to let anyone get too close. Especially not any... outsiders. It's been exhausting. An elder Khajiit came by and showed more genuine curiosity for St. Voris than any Telvani that visited the shrine in years. I'm not worried about him, Sarah. I've heard the dangerous ones travel in groups, like that caravan nearby. Mind yourself. I'm so glad you asked. This shrine has stood since the dawn of the Second Era in honor of St. Voris the Immolent, patron saint of House Telvani. I am the High Priest, and I oversee the care of our most valued relic, the Talisman of St. Voris. St. Voris believed that we honor our ancestors through the forceful expression of will over others. The gem within the relic exemplifies this belief. It was claimed in conquest during his march across elsewhere. Not stole, claimed in conquest. The shrine is dedicated to exercising our forceful expression of will. We hope to someday unravel the hidden mystical properties held by the gem that eluded even the great Saint Voris until his death. 
Testing one's will on the talisman serves as a humbling reminder that forceful expression of one's will is an unending journey. Salen Mora used to be a haven for aspiring Telvanni, pilgrims eager to test their mettle. But alas, those days are gone. Most come to visit the crypts. Few stay to properly observe the majesty of the relic. I cannot understand why. Admittedly, we have had an influx of visitors since this Lark character announced his intentions to steal the talisman. I'd hate to think that spectacle was the only thing calling pilgrims to the sh- Since Relasi isn't keeping me- Are we stopping here when these dark elves lurk about the edges of our camp? Oh, Shadea, you worry too much. Surely they mean us no harm. <laughs> Old fool. Luck be with you, Walker. This one is Elier Sodro. Caravan Elder. Our wares and coin are in short supply, but our camp is open to all who may seek to rest and be at ease. What does your heart seek that we may provide? Uh, no. We Bandari are used to scrutiny, but rarely from such a distance. The Dark Elves in these lands seem colder than most. This is no matter. This one extends his warmest welcomes to you instead. The shrine. Oh, oh that shrine. It, it is a place holy to dark elves, yes? Of little interest to us, Khajiit. This one is late in his years and does not remember. But he may have accidentally wandered through. Yes, that was probably so. Ask Shadea. This one thought it sensible to hire protection while crossing a land rife with slavers, and her sharp eyes miss nothing. And you are welcome to ask around our camp, Walker. Make yourself at home among the Bandari. What is it you want? Your nose is too close to my face. This one is called Shadea. She and her mercenaries are here only to protect the caravan for coin. This one dislikes this place and will remain no longer than she must. You have questions? Talk to the Elder. This one knows nothing. This one is not in the habit of paying tithes to foreign saints. The Elder may have gone, but he insisted others stay at the camp. Fine by this one, so long as she gets paid. What is it? This one is... Yes, a nosy walker came to spy and ask foolish questions. And Shadea was the only one bothered by this. Then again, the elder and his family are Bandari. They are used to being treated like criminals. Anything else, nosy walker? Locker's in the crypts. He just slipped past. I just saw him. The Lark of Rosgard. He's in the crypts. Just need a moment to catch my breath. I was setting up protective runes in the crypts when some sweet priest came bumbling in after me and set them off. We were forced to flee when the spirits of the interred attacked us, and then the Lark of Rosgard managed to slither into the crypts. 
He's so slippery, there's no guarantee they'll even slow him down. Quickly, please. If you can help deter the spirits, I'm sure we can corner him and stop this once and for all. Quickly, into the crypts! We can't let him get away! <laughs> 